Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint the Grinch. The colors you're going to need are white, red, black, yellow, green, and light blue. My favorite brushes, my one inch flat brush, as well as my um, 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna have my whole background be a super, super, super light blue. So lots and lots and lots of white paint is gonna go on here with just a little bit of that light blue. So you could just kind of brush that in any way you want. I want mine to be a little messy because you know, this is the Grinch. So I'm just gonna kind of pull those colors across any which way, not keeping it nice and neat. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna line out our Grinch and start adding some fun details. With a dry background, we're now gonna lay out our Grinch. I'm going to lay out my Grinch's face using yellow paint. And so I've got my number 10 round brush yellow paint. And we're gonna keep the Grinch's face over here to the left so that his little hand holding the ornament can be over here on the right. So the Grinch's face is going to be, um, like I said, over here. And it's going to start with two gently curved lines. And then from those, it kind of bumps out and goes down into almost what would be like a heart shape. Now from there, we can go ahead and color this whole thing in with yellow because we want to have a really bright green yellow face. And so that, that first yellow base is going to really help us kind of brighten up that green. Then we can go in with that green paint and start to brush it on in. And this is where you're really going to kind of be careful. You don't want it to be too dark. And the top part up here is going to be lighter. And the bottom part down here is going to be a little bit darker. I just want to show there's a little bit of shadow going on. That's a great Grinch. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my brush off and wash it off. Now we're gonna skip out on the white part of his Santa costume for now because we don't really want it to get too green. So I'm gonna go in with the red part and I'm gonna just skip a little bit of space right here and I'm going to make a line up and then a wiggly line down. And so right along here, I could just make a straight line across. I can go up and then I can kind of join that wiggly line down. Paint that whole space in red. And then right down here, we're just gonna make a little V shape, paint everything below that in red also. Now, his little Grinch arm is gonna be coming right up along his face. We're just gonna make a little rectangle that's gonna get wider at the bottom. Wipe that brush off and wash it off. Wash it really good because we're gonna go back into that yellowish green color for his hand. So for my Grinch hand, again, I'm gonna leave some space right here. And then I'm just gonna make a skinny little wrist coming out. And on that wrist is gonna be a curved line for the top of his hand. Right down here, there's gonna be like a cup. That's his thumb. 
And then here we are gonna have his little fingers coming down. And his fingers are really kind of long and skinny. And so we're gonna just kind of make one of them. That's little pinky's gonna go off the canvas. His next one will be right about there going off the canvas. And all I'm doing is making some curved lines. Okay, so I've got his thumb. One, two, three, I need to add one more finger on there. And go ahead and paint this in yellow and then add our green to it to make it a lime green color. wash it off and we're going to go ahead and lay out where our ornament is going to be so you can make your ornament any color you want i'm going to make my ornament red so right down here i'm going to make my big circle ornament leaving room for my topper as well as my string that the Grinch is going to be holding. Now a lot of times when I make my pictures I like to add highlights and lowlights to these but um, the Grinch book is really just very solidly colored so I'm not going to add a whole lot of highlights and lowlights to, to my reds and to my ornament. So we're going to let this dry and when we come back we're going to add in the white and the detail. All right, my background is pretty dry, so I'm gonna jump on in with the white. So I'm gonna make my white big, puffy white areas, and I might have to do a second coat on this, um, depending on if I can see through to the green or to the red. But I'm just gonna add some big, puffy white swoops right here, right here, and down in this area. I might even, you know what, I think I'm gonna dab it on there so I don't have to wait till it dries and add some more. I'm kind of in a paint dabbing mood today. Look at how thick that is and how it covers so great. Now that that's finished, I'm gonna switch over to my number six round brush and some yellow paint. We're gonna lay out our Grinch's eyes. So our Grinch's eyes are gonna be um, right here, right by where this crack is, where it goes from down to over. They're gonna be in that general area. So sometimes when I'm making eyes that are at an angle, I kind of like to draw a line so that I know where the angle of the head is so that I get it correct. And the Grinch's eyes go from here and they kind of go up at an angle because he's, you know, snarky. And then there's a big, huge bump and it goes back up. So some big old yellow eyes, a bump and it goes right back up. So I'm guessing these are gonna need a next, another coat of white paint, but that's okay. I mean, yellow paint. But we're gonna add some texture to our Grinch's face. So with yellow on my brush and just a little bit of green, I'm gonna take some lines and I'm gonna pull just some, what almost looks like whiskers off of his cheeks. And both green and yellow so that they do kind of show up. And 
even some right up here above his eyebrows. And then over here on his hand as well, these will be some smaller ones. Got a little bit too much green there. And then the tips of his fingers. And the ones on his face are gonna just kinda come down here and turn in towards the center of his chin. Wipe that brush off. I'm gonna use the same brush to add in his nose and his eyes. So I'm gonna use some black paint and his nose is gonna be right down here um, between his two eyes and it is a circle. with two little bumps on the side. Above his nose, I'm gonna take just a couple of curved lines, super lightly curved, and then his mouth, he's got a gigantic smile, okay? So we're gonna make one of the lines right up here and we are gonna have it come down do the same thing from this side. He's looking grinchy. We're gonna have some curved lines right here underneath his eyes. And then we'll use that same brush with a little bit of We'll clean the brush off. A little bit of yellow paint, and we're gonna make a small little topper to our ornament. And it's just a small rectangle. I'm gonna pull the lines down and let the lines be a little bit uneven so that it looks like the top of an ornament. Wipe that brush off, some black paint. We'll put the little knob on the top. And then the little hook going right up here to his hand. I'm just gonna make a couple of curved lines on here. And wash that brush off. All right, I'm gonna let these eyeballs dry. Oh, you know what I forgot? His white puff on the end of his hat. Can you believe I forgot that? So I'm going to let these eyeballs dry a little bit and when they are dry, we will finish up our Mr. Grinch. All right, let's put some final details on this Grinchy man of ours. Um, first things first, I like to make the dots of my eyes with black paint on my finger. So I have some black paint where I'm going to drop a dot right up towards the top of his eye on both of those. I'm gonna give him some great Grinch eyelashes, so it's gonna go right along the top of his eye and kind of curve up. It's a really big eyelash. So I'm gonna put three of them on here. I'm also right here on the top of his head gonna make some curved lines that kind of go in towards the center of his face. And then I'm going to add some black outlines to really quite a bit of his face. Um, if you wanna switch to a smaller brush, you can. I like to use this brush for my black outlines, but I'm gonna outline my Grinch eyes I'm gonna outline my Grinch hat. Not the white part of it, just the red part. As well as my ornament. So the red areas are all gonna be outlined.
on my Grinch hand, I am gonna add a couple of outlines that go just along with some of the black. I'm sorry, some of the hair. I'm gonna do the same thing on his face, just a couple of them. I don't need to outline too many, but I do want it to look as though he is a cartoon character. On his hat, I'm gonna make a curved little line that kind of comes up to show that that's where the fold of the hat is. And then right down here, I'm gonna make just a couple of little curved lines coming down towards his mouth. Okay, I do believe my Grinch is finished. Nope, I'm gonna add a little highlight to his eyes. I was just joking. I'm gonna take a small amount of white paint and at the top of his eyes, just make a small little curved line on his eyes and on the top of his nose. Oh, I'm happy I soft and did that. But now I think my Grinch is finished. So right down here in my ornament, I'm gonna pick up a color that's gonna show up well on my canvas and I'm gonna sign my initials. Don't forget that I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting With A Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. And remember, if you want to, you can always put some words up here. Look at all that great space. All right, have a great day, friends. Bye now. As soon as I put my brushes down, I decided I wanted to add a couple things, like maybe a couple of snowflakes. You know, Sometimes when I paint, I get up to leave and I decide, nope, not quite done yet. So I'm just gonna add a couple of snowflakes to this. Like I said, you can add some words if you want. But I'm gonna make snowflakes, and how I make my snowflakes is I make like a, a letter T and then a cross. See that? But this time I'm also gonna add some polka dots to it. So I use um, one of my bigger brushes or even the back of a, a pencil and I can use that to make dots on the ends of my snowflakes. So I'm gonna take four big dots and then I'll use the paintbrush back, which is quite a bit smaller, to make my other dots, which are going to be smaller dots. I'll use the back of the brush to make smaller dots. Now, I think I'm finished with my picture. Maybe, you never know with me. But I am so happy that if you did tune in that you decided to come back and watch my little edited edition of my Grinch snowman because I do think he just needed something in the background and I think the snowflakes were the answer. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and post your finished Grinch on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.